Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Wow, there are a couple of Tranodons flying around. Anyway, we're not concerned with them. In the last episode, I looked around without much success for a plant species X. Never mind the seed, because, you know, that would have been nice. Uh, I think the wiki is a little outdated on a few things, but that's okay. Live and learn, right? So for today's episode, well, we have some new stuff to play with, and I thought, ah, you know what? I can't resist a few certain things, and uh, I think that's going to be what we need for those. So let's go ahead and dive into the engrams. I have no idea what level they are, so I'm going to do it that way. Ah, oh, really? I gotta learn the club first? Ah, uh, all right. I guess we'll learn club I'm pretty sure, and I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that some of these new things just aren't in any sort of drops anywhere, so you gotta go ahead and spend the points on them if you would like to play with them. So this one, yeah, I know, I'm going to need that one. So let's go ahead and learn Wooden Shield. That way we can learn Metal Shield. And uh, there we go. I was waiting for the sound. I didn't hear it. That would be Riot Shield right there. If you don't follow the updates, that's what that one is. That's Riot Shield. That's level 75. Obviously, I have four more levels to go, which at this rate is going to take me, oh, until sometime next year. I hope not, but... Who's walking around out there? You're making a lot of noise. Keep it down. Whoever it is. Turtle, keep it down. We're, we're trying to do something over here. We're trying to make a show. Anyway, let's go back inside. New updates, interesting stuff. Of course, the most interesting thing from this update probably is not the sword or the shield or even that you now have an offhand spot. Never mind the numbers floating over that. I am I I'm always playing with my settings, so I'm just trying stuff and trying to watch how what well the game plays. Let's go ahead and start queuing some stuff up here. Why? Hmm. You're you're not in there? Primitive melee. Aha! You are considered primitive. That's why. Okay. Well, then where would you be? You're not attachments. Melee. Where would you be if you were a shield? I don't know where that one was. Was it under primitive? No. I don't know what that one was under. Is it under armor? Oh, I bet it's under armor. Yeah, there it is. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and clear that. Because it's time to go play with stuff. I'm excited to play with these things. They are super duper heavy. So uh, let me just show you that. The sword, okay, sword at five pounds. I have no problem with that. The shield at 45 pounds. Good luck moving quickly. I mean, I don't know how someone is supposed to... Oh, that's unfortunate. Where did my arm go? My arm fell off, and that's all I have, is this floating arm in front of me. That's unfortunate. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, look at that. I don't have an arm there either. There's no upper arm in this game. That is... That's kind of interesting. I didn't realize that would be the case. Huh. All right, well, whatever. We got a sword and shield. Let's go... Um. Let's go stir up some trouble and see what happens, because the sword, if you look at the statistics... Oh, man, I don't know how I feel about this. Can I, um... Aha, uh -huh, if I do that, well, that still has that. If I do that, what about if I pull out my pike? Yeah, there we go. I, I don't want to be looking at nothing but a big old shield right now. If you look at the stats, comparing a plain Jane pike to a plain Jane sword... The sword does 90 damage, the pike does 55, so it's not quite double, but it's, um, I think you can make a case for that being a fairly significant increase. It's not 100%, like I said, but it's a good, I don't know, I'm just pulling numbers out of the air, 75%, something like that. I didn't actually bother to do the math or think about it, I just decided to throw numbers out. But it is an improvement, so I think there's something to be said for that. Now, I have done a little reading about the sword, and some folks are a little, um, we'll go ahead and use the word disappointed with its range, saying that it has basically the same range as the club. I haven't bothered with the club because the club at this point really is more of a PvP type thing. I mean, I guess maybe early game you could use it to knock out some dinosaurs, but 
I am so far beyond the early game at this point. What is that? Is that my torch from many episodes ago? It sure is. Keep on burning, little torch. Never mind, it's not burning. But, you know, the club might be good early on just to kind of give you another means of knocking dinos out if you don't want to punch them or maybe uh, slingshot, that sort of thing. But the club is supposed to be really good against other players. Now, obviously, this has been a single-player playthrough, so I can't really comment too much on what it's like to attack other players. But we can go ahead and chew on a couple of birds here just to get rid of them. Because I'm just trying to find a few things that'll be worth kind of playing with here to uh, enjoy the goodness of the sword and board. Let's see what you guys are. I, I'm hesitant to, uh, to kill a cat. Oh, hello. Let's just see what you are right quick. You are a bloody male Rex. There are still bats around, I think. That's, no, that's a Dimorphodon. Okay, well, let's just see what we have going on for cats down here. I'm a little concerned about being jumped by a, a bunch of them at once, but, um, you know, we can, we can see what happens here. I can just hop down and pull out my sword. Oh. Now, of course, I do need to worry a little bit about... Oh, hello, hello there, hello there. Hold on. Let me, um... Let me change my location here. I want to move where I'm at because... Grimma... Grimma, Gothmog here is going to be problematic. Hey, you guys can just follow me if you want. Um, I think I'd rather have a different spot to fight from. There we go. That's fine. This will work. Alright, come along, cats. Tink. Look at that. That was quick and efficient. That, I mean, seriously, that was that was really fast. Oh, I've been tranquilized. If that's the case, I should probably hop on top of my dinosaur and uh, just be ready in case I'm about to fall over. <laughs> Not bad. I gotta say... I'm kind of liking the sword right now. I know, like I said, I've read some folks are not overly excited by it, but that was a good chunk of damage in a short amount of time. Granted, low-level cats. I'm not going to argue with you on that one. Not at all. I agree. Low-level cats. But um, still, I mean, took care of it like it was no one's business. Look at that. That is ridiculous. Now, granted, let's also take a moment here to take a look at my stats. I am at 155% melee damage. So, again, compared to folks playing on official servers or servers with higher damage settings, chances are, well, or if you're playing on PvP, you might have uh, much higher melee damage than I am. I mean, you might just, period. I guess there's no real reason it would have to be on one specific server or another. This is just the way I built my character. I've tried to do a little bit of a well-rounded thing, which I, I don't know that that's actually going to work out for me. It seems to be working out thus far. But still, I do have to say that I'm pretty impressed with how much damage I'm putting out with that sword. Let's just go ahead and turn around here. I'm intentionally trying to collect a little bit of uh, extra keratin and chitin while I can, just because I realized I don't have much cementing paste. I'd like to make a riot shield. I believe it takes around 200 polymer to do so. There is just no way I have anywhere even close to that right now, so it is a bit of a situation where I do need to go collect some more stuff. Either I need to take Frogger out and go hop around the swamp or somewhere and just find a bunch of bugs or I need to go kill a ton of turtles, scorpions, and anything else that feels like dropping stuff that I can use as part of my cement paste process. Cement paste making process. There we go. Kind of left out an important word there. Let's come back over here, since I know there were a lot of things over here that I ran away from when I wasn't sure what to expect from the sword and board. We do have a raptor. I would really like to see how this goes against a raptor. Uh, raptors have kind of been my nemesis throughout this series and just throughout this game in general. I'd say raptors and carnos, maybe carnos more so than raptors. But either way, they have um, knocked me down on more than one occasion. I think that's a, a 
polite way to understate things. I'll just go ahead and take a chop at the Dilo here. I am a little underwhelmed that when you hit these things, you don't get much of a reaction. Not much of a physical reaction. And, uh, you know, it's alright, I guess. But it does kind of kill things for me just a little bit. Alright, I could maybe punch you with a shield, but... See, I think that hit. Yep. Sure did, but you couldn't really tell that just by looking at it. So, that's a little... Um, it's a little deceptive, I think I would use that as the word. And I don't mean that in a bad sort of intentional way. It's just, it's deceptive because you can't really quite tell what's going on. I mean, this is pretty awesome too. Let's just talk about the shield for a moment. You get a big cutout so you can see what's going on. That's pretty fantastic. I like that. I mean, look, we can see this raptor charging. Donk. Donk. Now, raptors are fast, so um, did that hit me? Sure did, but it didn't do a whole lot of damage. And granted, I do have... Oh, look at that. I'll take a free Trank Arrow, and I suppose I'll take those, too. We can drop you. We don't need that. But, I mean, yeah, okay. So I do have a little bit of armor, so that probably uh, knocks some of that damage off that I took. But not a ton, mind you. Here, go ahead and hold those for me, Gothmog. Don't mind. If you don't mind, rather. I seem to be leaving words out today. I don't know what's up with that. I seem to have forgotten how to speak. That's really unfortunate for me. Let's go ahead and grab some more chitin. We're going to test the sword and board against a scorpion. Come on, scorpion. Rock me like a hurricane. Because I'm going to rock you like... I don't know. A scorpion getting rocked. There we go. I took a few swings. Thank you, Gothmog. I appreciate you helping out there. He's going to harvest more than I am, so, I mean, might as well let the big man take care of it. Now, he's not the big man, because that, of course, is Sauron. Sauron is big man, but he is a big man. He's not the biggest man anymore. Not by a long shot. Nope. That's the other thing I started to talk about, oh, way back when in the beginning of this episode. That's the other big thing. Haha. Uh -huh. Added to this patch that just came out. Well, I say just came out because I just installed it, but uh, I think it came out earlier today as I'm recording here. It was supposed to come out yesterday and it didn't. Oh, hello, birdie. I can do birds, whatever. I think you're going to have a problem called Gothmog. Again, thank you, sir. I appreciate you taking care of that sort of ugly business there of butchering creatures. But the big thing added in this patch is the Gigantosaurus. Is that right? Gigantosaurus? It is not a Gigantosaurus. Let's just be clear. It is not a Gigantosaurus. There's an O between the N and the T. It's a Gigantosaurus. I believe I have that correct. Yeah, that guy or girl, whichever you happen to run into, is massive. Again, if you keep up on this game, then you probably know all about that. Uh-oh. I apparently have angered a bunch of Dimorphodons. Well, whatever. They are going to fly away. Bye-bye, Dimorphodons. Bye-bye. Have a good flight. See you later. Gigantosaurus. Big, ugly creature will probably wreck your everything. Uh, unless you happen to catch it somewhere where it's not really going to get a chance to wreck your everything. In which case, good for you. I am not sure what I'm going to do when I find one. There was a question in the comments today. Today, as in the day I am recording, not the day I am posting this. What are you going to do if a Gigantosaurus finds your base? I don't know. I don't know. That's, um, that's a bridge we'll have to cross should we come upon it. But for right now, I just, I don't know. I don't really have an answer for that. Too bad you're not a big male cat. I still would like to find one of them. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about the Gigantosaurus. I mean, at this point, I'm still having trouble figuring out how I'm going to get a Quetzal. Never mind. I'm going to get a big, super nasty predator. I mean, a bird that kind of tries to ignore you is one thing, but a big, nasty predator that wants to eat your everything is kind of another. So, um, I don't know. I'll figure that one out. I have an idea for how to get the Quetzal. I just 
haven't had a chance to uh, put all the pieces together yet. I am still working on getting enough narcotics together for one. So, um, I don't know. Gigantosaurus, that, that may have to wait. I don't know. We'll have to see how that one goes. That's... Uh, it's a little too soon for me to be able to answer that question. I just, I don't know right now. I'm going to go ahead and grab some pearls while I'm here, just because I am always in need of more electronics. So I figure I might as well grab these while I can. These are the super easy ones to get, so, you know, kind of makes sense to grab them while I'm in the neighborhood, I think. But we're going to have to call it an episode right there. I'm going to grab a couple of more sets of pearls. I should probably go eat some food before I fall over from exhaustion and lack of nourishment, but, uh, you know, whatever. That's kind of my problem, not yours. So, on the next episode, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing, if we're going to be doing a little, uh, maybe some breeding, maybe I'll do some other stuff. I don't know, I just, I mentioned the breeding thing just because it's kind of something I talked about before and I would like to do it since we did spend the time to build an egg hatchery. I think we should probably at least look into hatching some eggs, if not doing some breeding, but that, of course, depends on my time and availability, and the uh, last week or so haven't been particularly available in the way I would like, but um, I'll probably have some time next week, and in fact, I'll just go ahead and throw this out here right now. I'll mention it again on Monday's episode, but my plan at this point, if you are at all interested in Fallout 4, is to do a little streaming on Tuesday when it comes out. Well, Tuesday, my part of the world, perhaps Wednesday, yours, it just depends. But Tuesday, 9 p.m. Pacific, if everything goes as planned, I plan, aha, I plan on streaming a little Fallout at that time. Basically, as long as I can play before I crash and fall asleep at my desk, because I suspect I will already be tired at that point in the day and the thought of playing until the wee, wee hours of the morning. I don't know that I'm up for it anymore. I'm old. But I will catch you on another one. So, we have some stuff to do in the near future, and there are still other things I would like to do that I haven't even really gotten to, and uh, I promise we will be knocking those things off the list because we've been checking things off the list quite a bit lately. So, we will continue that effort. But I will catch you on another one. So until then, thanks for watching. See you later.